Reaper Video Academy. Today we are going to look on how to replicate such layout, which, as you can see, consists of background image and features placed within columns on a white background. Within this tutorial we are also cover such specific visual composer options like equal height columns, column gaps, border radius and few more. So before we start, you need to prepare a few things like background image and uh, content features which you will place within those columns. As you can see, you can of course create such layout using CSS, but uh, if you leave it to Visual Composer, I'm sure you will save some time uh, which you can spend on something else. So I am now going to switch to blank page, Visual Composer Frontend Editor and start by adding row element. Now as I have three of those columns, I'm going to divide row using row layout option into three columns. OK. Next one, I'm going to add a background image which is already uploaded into my WordPress media library, so you may probably want to upload yours. OK. I'm just going to set image and set background image style to cover. OK. Next one, I'm going to stretch row to be full width and using this row stretch option I can easily do that but at the same time as I choose stretch row only my columns are still boxed which is basically what I want to have there next I'm going to set the background color for my columns so I'm navigating to column next column settings and Within design options tab, I can specify background color. Here you go. Now I'm going to do this for the rest of my columns. And it's, as you can see, it's really fast and easy. Okay, now I have my three columns. I have background for them and I have my background for row. Next, I'm going to add icon element just add element you can find it here or you can use search just type icon and here you go so here is my icon element there are a few icon libraries available there i will use type icons and uh, yes i'm just going again to use search here and find icon which i want so I'm going to set icon color white, but at the same time I'm going to use background shape circle and specify, specify color vista blue. Okay, now I probably want my icon to be a bit bigger. Great, and align it center. Here you go. Now I can of course add icon elements again and again, but I'm going just use duplicate function and quickly drag them to those columns. Now I just have to edit it and uh, as you can see so duplication option really speeds things up. Okay, just set color and now let's let's move on with this icon. Here we have Sandy Brown. Okay, now I have those icons already ready. And uh, let's start by adding titles. For titles, I will use custom heading element. And I'm just going to input all the text here. You can specify tags. I'm just going to leave H2 for now. Set text alignment center, specify size, line height if you wish. Adjust text color and I will use Google font family Siva one. 
and here you go. Now I have three of those titles. Again, I'm just going to duplicate them and quickly change those titles. Okay, content development. Okay, next one, I'm just going to add those text blocks. Again, just choose add element, text block, copy paste, let's center it, and again, use this duplicate function, to quickly copy elements, and then just change using those elements. Okay, here you go. Well, as you can see, there are spaces at the top and bottom of, of my row. Well, I'm just going to navigate to row and set padding 100 at the top and 100 at the bottom. Great. The next things we are going to do is work with border radius, column gap and equal height. Those all features are really easy to introduce or adjust to your design. So first I'm going to use column gap. By default it's set to zero. I'm going to change it to 35. Here you go. And Next one, I'm going to use equal height. By choosing equal height, I ensure that all of my three columns are equal height. And we are basically almost finished. Last thing to do is adjust border radius. For this one, you have to navigate to columns, design options. You could actually specify it when you choose background color. But as you can see, there is this border radius and there are predefined options. I'm going to set it five pixels. Now I'm just quickly adjusting it for the rest of my columns. Here you go. I'm just going to save it. So, as you can see, we have already replicated this layout and used some of the features available at latest versions of Visual Composer. Thank you and good luck.